Hello everyone. Today we will learn regarding arthrology. It means study of joints. In this chapter we will discuss regarding definition of joints and its classific classification according to structural, functional, regional, according to articulating of bones. Now first we will discuss regarding definition of joint. Joint is a junction between two or more bones or cartilage. It is a device to permit movements. Okay, so up to this, it will be included in definition of joint. Joint is a junction between two or more bones, cartilage, okay, which allow for movement. There are more joints in child than in adult because as growth proceeds, some of the bones fuse together. Example ilium, ischium, pubis to form the hip bone okay uh, that we have discussed in osteology of hip bone two halves of the infant frontal bone and of the infant mandible the five sacral vertebrae and four coccygeal vertebrae okay that we have discussed in fusions or okay now we will discuss classification of joint structural classification functional classification regional according to articulating bone first we will uh, structural classification its type fibrous cartilaginous and synovial okay fcs fibrous cart uh, cartilaginous and uh, synovial in fibrous there are further subtype sutural syndomosis gomphosis okay second cartilaginous in cartilaginous primary cartilaginous joint secondary cartilaginous joint third synovial joint uh, first ball and socket cellar or saddle condylar ellipsoid hinge joint pivot joint and last one is plane joint okay fibrous cartilaginous synovial in fibrous we have seen suture syndemosis gomphosis in cartilaginous primary and secondary synovial ball ball and socket etc okay now we will discuss regarding functional classification functional classification sine arthrosis immovable like fibrous joints Amphi arthrosis slightly movable like cartilaginous joints. Diarthrosis freely movable like synovial joint. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will discuss synoarthrosis. Synoarthrosis are fixed joint at which there is no movement. The articular surface are joined by tough fibrous tissue. Often the edges of the bones are devoted into one another as in the sutures of the skull that we will see in this diagram synoarthrosis joints sutures of the skull okay amphiarthrosis are joints at which slight movement is input is possible a pair of cartilage lies between the bone surface and there are fibrous ligament to hold the bones and cartilage in place the cartilage of such joints also act as shock absorber. Example: intervertebral disc. Okay. Diagram of amphiarthrosis joint: intervertebral disc. Uh, blue. Uh, blue marking is paired. Okay, which act as a say, uh, shock absorber in this inter intervertebral joint. Now, diarthrosis. Diarthrosis or synovial joints are known as freely movable joints. Though at some of them, the movement is restricted by the shape of the articulating surface and by the ligaments which hold the bones together. These ligaments are of elastic connective tissue. The fluid known as synovial fluid produced by the synovial membrane which act as a lubricant. The form of the articulating surface surfaces controls the type of the movement which takes place at any joint. Okay.
knee joint diarthrosis okay we have seen st uh, functional synoarthrosis that is uh, uh, immovable okay switches of the skull amphiarthrosis slightly movable intervertebral disc intervertebral joint okay then synoarthrosis amphiarthrosis and last one diarthrosis that is freely movable that uh, image shows knee joint okay but in that some of the joints which are restricted by uh, their movement due to attachment of their ligament okay the movements possible at sinuoidal joints are flexion extension abduction adduction and circumduction okay now we will see regarding regional classification skull type immovable that we have seen in synarthrosis vertebral type slightly movable amphiarthrosis limb type freely movable okay that is diarthrosis now according to number of articulating bones okay simple joint okay name suggests when two bone articulate with each other example interphalangeal joints okay simple joint interphalangeal this diagram shows the simple joint interphalangeal joints okay only two bone articulate with each other now compound more than two bones articulate with within one capsule example elbow joint wrist joint okay this is the diagram of compound joint more than two bones articulate with each other in one capsule okay capsule of that joint wrist joint complex joint when the joint cavity is divided by an intra articular disc example tmj and sternoclavicular joint okay in this diagram you can see that tmj is divided into upper and lower portion by intra articular disc okay so it is term as complex joints okay this diagram shows the uh, this diagram is of complex joints and temporomandibular joint okay joint is divided by upper and lower part due to intra articular disc okay thank you